everyone, it's Suzanne, and I'm back with my wish list for polish pickup for, I guess this would be September's polish pickup. Yes, September 1st through September 4th, and this month the theme was Haunted History, and if you don't know what polish pickup is, it's basically a pre-order site, and you come to the site between September 1st and September 4th, and, um, you place your order and then you get your polishes or your nail care items. There's also some wax melts and it's mainly polishes, nail care items, wax melts. And there are some like little purses and bags this month that are super cute if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, but basically you come to the site, you pre-order it, like I said, September 1st through the 4th. And then you get your items uh, three to four weeks later now they have changed their website so it's a little bit more difficult to do the wish list um because this is the only way i know how to do it but i have 16 on my wish list every month i see this i saw the spoilers this month and i thought oh i'm good this month i'm not gonna have that many and then i go and look at the site and i'm like oh my gosh what happened i feel like i saw these polishes and didn't like them but then when i look at them more detail i like them so let's just get right into it so the first one on my wish list is from tss nails the blue lady 1250 and let's see there's a hundred cap um i have seen this brand i think i might have gotten one in a mystery box but i have not um ever used this brand of polish before but it is inspired by a death at the sealbach hotel in louisville kentucky um I don't know anything about this. I'm just saying that because I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky um, and lived there for, I don't know, years and years, 20 something years. <laughs> um, but I don't know all about this, but we won't read this. This goes on and tells you the whole little story of her death, which is kind of interesting. I mean, I guess I think it's interesting because I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, so it might not be interesting to everyone. So we're not going to go through that whole spiel, but it is a blue polish that glows with eternal light featuring our signature shimmer with a little extra kick. Okay. I feel like I probably have something like this, but it is just, I feel like I have something like this, but it is just stunning. Look at these nails. Look at this blue on here. I feel like this is stunning. I feel like I have something like this. I feel like it will get vetoed, but I do um, really like it. I have the top coat and the base coat for this, so I won't go into both of them, but I'll just go into the top coat for this um, Vibrant Scents. Um, it's $8.50, and there is no cap. And I have bought one of these Vibrant Scents um, top and base coat a couple of PPUs ago, and I really like them. So whenever the scent sounds good, I'll probably be adding it to my wish list, but... That doesn't necessarily mean I'll be able to get it. Um, it's inspired by Scooby-Doo, and it's called Snoop Scooby Snacks, and it's a warm aroma of graham crackers with notes of cinnamon, orange zest, and brown sugar with hints of other yummy spices. Sounds like it could be interesting. I think I'll wind up probably deleting those because, I don't know, I don't really like, um, I think I would like the cinnamon and the graham cracker smell, but I don't really like uh, real spicy scents when they're real like spicy, if that makes sense. I don't really care for that, if that even makes sense, what I just said there, but <laughs> so that might get vetoed. Next is Sweet and Sour Lacquer. The Saw is Family, $13. Um, this is 500 available. It is inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface, and is a cherry red jelly with black flakies and blue iridescent flakes. Okay, I'm loving Sweet and Sour. Um, I have two brands. I'll talk about the other one in a minute that right now I am loving. And one of them is Sweet and Sour. Um, I don't really know why. I'm just loving her polishes. Um, and I'm normally not a red person. See, I don't like how it's this. It's super dark right here like it is on these nails. But, yeah, like on these nails here where it's not as um, dark red, I really do like it. Um, for some reason, whenever I like a red, it seems like it's a jelly formula. But I do like it where it's not so dark there. I watched several people swatch it, and I'm thinking that if I get this, I really do want this one, I could wear it as a one-coater maybe, which I normally never do because the more coats you put on, the darker it gets. I noticed as people were swatching this. Um so I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one, but I really do want it, but I just don't know. 
you know, I could always put it in the giveaway if I really don't like it, but I do really think it's pretty. So next uh, one up, I have a Sassy Sauce Polish. Let me ask you a question, $13. Cute little pun there, 500 available. And this is inspired by a photo from the story of Lizzie Borden. It is a smoky indigo base with a strong golden green glow, jade hollow glitter pigment and scattered hollow inspired by Mary Sandberg. I don't know the named by Mary Sandberg. I don't know who that is. I've seen that on theirs before, I think. This is really, I'm on, I feel like I won't wind up getting this. I'm on the fence about it because I like it in some pictures, but some pictures I don't, but it's really um, very, very pretty, very unique. So I'm thinking about that one too. And then next up on my list is, this is the other brand that I've just really been digging her polishes here lately. I don't know. Um, she just put out a two collections here lately that were just like, ooh, I only got one of them. And the second collection I had to pass because I had just been spending too much money on nail polish. Um, but this is Red Eyed Lacquer. And like I said, I'm just really, I'm just really digging her polishes right now. This is the Blair Witch 1250. And there's 200 available and is inspired by Molly Dyer, who inspired the Blair the Blair Witch, a gray lavender crelly with pink, purple shifting flakes and black flakies. I just think this is so cute. It has like a glow to it, like a shimmer. The black flakies, the glow of the pink flakies. Oh, I feel like this is uh, one I'll definitely be getting. It is so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. So next up I have right here this one from penelope lutz ghost bride 13 dollars i'm not sure if you say that lutz or lutz i would say it lutz lutz i might be saying that wrong i apologize to penelope if i am there is 700 available and it is inspired by a beautiful image of a ghost bride full of butterflies leading leading her silver holographic with blue purple aurora shimmer I just think this is so sparkly, so pretty. I feel like this will get vetoed. As I'm looking at it, I'm definitely going to take this one off so we won't spend too much more time looking at it. But I do think it's beautiful and it's shimmery. And um, if I had all the money in the world, I would buy it. But I can't, I can't buy 16 nail polishes from <laughs> Polish Pickup. I just can't. So I can already say I'm going to delete that one. I'll do it later, but I am going to do it. Ooh, I definitely want this polish here. Um, this is Pampered Polishes Hitchhiking Ghost, $13. And it doesn't look like there's a cap. It's inspired by the Haunted Mansion. It's a brighter green jelly base with bold green shimmer and assortment of mint colored glitters. I just love this. There's only one picture. Um, I don't know if they'll put more pictures up, but I've seen pictures of it already. I love the... Um, jelly and how it has like little the pond effect and the two colors of green have my heart so i um, definitely think that um that one will be a hard one to say no to but i definitely think i'll get that one next up i have polish calling the spirits 14 dollars and there is no cap it looks like is inspired by seances and the victorian spiritual movement a pale spectacular lavender packed with intense pink copper gold shifting shimmer this is so glowy and look at that it is so glowy and shimmery. Um, see, I don't really like it like that. I know I've said this before, but I wish they would tell you, like, how is it so, see how it's so, like, sheer and clear on those, and it doesn't even, it's like a whitish color, but on this person's nails, it's definitely a pink. I love it as this pink, but I don't love it like this and i'll be totally disappointed if it looks like it like that when i get it i do have a blurring base coat which i could probably work to build it up but that one is just so glowy so pretty i definitely want that one if i can get it but i want it to look like the pink that it looks like right here 
And then next up, this is another one I think that looks kind of different. Is this one it? I think this is it. Lumen Haunted Melody, $13. And let's see. It looks like there's no cap. It's inspired by the Greenwood Cemetery in Central Florida. It's reported to be haunted and tells you just a little bit about that. I won't read all that. Um, but it's a haunted melody is a cool blue with a strong go to chartreuse to blue green shift. Each angle will reveal a unique sparkle with a different shift. With a focus on shimmer, this shade will be semi sheer and shimmering in one coat and semi opaque in three thin coats. Okay, so they're telling you you're going to have to work at it to get it opaque. But look, this is what this is why I need more information on how these. You know, are they using a blurring base coat? How many coats do they have? I mean, I know a lot of it's lighting too, but both these two swatchers here probably have amazing lights. But look at this. Like, I want it to look like this. It's got the green shift. I mean, yeah, the green colors coming through, which you can see the blue. It's glowy. It's beautiful. Uh, if it looks like that, I'm buying it. But the very, very, very next picture. This to me, this picture right here, it still has a glow to it, but it I don't want it if it looks like that. If it looks like that, this dull blue, I'll be so upset, you know? That's why I keep saying I wish they would tell me what they did because, this, I mean, maybe I'm the only one, but doesn't this, this looks totally different, this picture here, this blue. It's got a glow to it. It's a pretty polish, but it's not something I would want. But the picture just right before it, I mean, this looks like a totally different polish. It's got like a greenish tint to it. But anyway, let me get down off my harp here. But if it looks like this, I want it. If it looks the other way, I don't. So I'm kind of stuck on this one because I don't want to waste a polish getting that polish. And then it looks like that blue because I will not like it. Excuse me. And that will be a waste of a polish. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll go into this one. They don't have a picture up for this one, so I just threw it in until I can look at it. It's Lily Pad Lacquer Haunted Forever, $14. There's 120 available. I think this one will get deleted just looking at just here in the description, but I still want to see it. And like I've said before, I do not go back into the site. My wish list, once I've made my wish list, that's all I deal with. So if I don't put this into my wish list, I won't get to see this polish, and I do want to see it. It's a fuchsia jelly base filled with assorted flakies. I don't think I'll like it because it's fuchsia. I probably could try to go look up spoilers, but I still like seeing the picture, so that's just how I handle it. Everyone has their own ways, but for me, that just works best because I cannot go into back into the site because, like, I had the Night Owl Lacquer in my wish list, which is, oh, it's so pretty, but I wind up getting rid of it. I cannot go back into the site because it's already hard enough to side in the 16 that I have in here. I cannot be adding more. So the next one I have up, I'm not sure if you say this Devin or Devine. I guess it's Devine Lacquer. Um, I don't own any of these. I've never purchased any. If I have any, it's ones that I've got in a mystery. And this is Bell of New Haven, $13. Let's see. Uh, 220 available. It is inspired by the Winchester House. And it says Bell of New Haven has a white base with a pink undertone and a pink gold green shifting aurora shimmer. Did that say something about it? Might may stain your nails. <sighs> hmm. Because the pink is highly pigment ingredients. Okay, I don't really. I don't know. My nails are probably stained. I always wear polish, so it's not that big a deal to me. But look how pretty this is with the color, the different colors, the pink, the gold, the green. Oh, it's so pretty. But see how this is another one. that like If I can get it to look like that on my nail, I am down for it, and I want it. But if I get this polish, if I purchase this polish, and it looks like this, I mean, it, on this one, it's actually pretty similar, but I still... I would not like that. I like it when it's like more pinkish. Like more pinkish color like this. And this one is more like whitish colored. I like the pinkish colored. And it is a white base. So it might be white. So that one might get deleted because it is telling me it's a white base. And I'm liking it when it's more pinkish colored. So that one probably is not going to be coming home with me. This one is coming home with me. This Bluebird Lacquer here for the booze. $13. I saw some... 
Looks like there's no cap, so I'll definitely be able to get this. This is inspired by the infamous Chess Man Park in Denver, Colorado. This is a purple-leaning gray chrome with green and pink sparkles that change to an emerald large particle sparkle with a magenta gold shifting magnetic shift creating a rainbow effect. I saw swatches of this. I love it. I don't know if they'll show them because they probably all might magnetize it. I thought it was beautiful unmagnetized. It's beautiful magnetized too, but I thought this, see there, I don't know. I, I guess that's unmagnetized that first nail. It, it looked different on the swatches I saw, but I still, oh my gosh, I still just think this is pretty. This is stunning. Look at, let's look at Caitlin's swatches. I think she, she does amazing swatches and these are her nails. Oh my gosh, beautiful, 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 stunning, stunning, stunning. And I love Bluebird, so that is definitely one that I want. Um, okay, then next up I have BKL, The Woman in Black, $13. And there is no cap. And this is inspired by the owner or the maker's own spooky experience while on a ghost tour. It's a sheer black sister polish to Dumacorn with the same green to aqua to blue shimmer. I don't have Dumacorn and I hear people talk about it all the time. So I kind of want this polish, but it's green, it's shimmery, it's bee's knees. What more can you say? If you have the money, get it. Unless you have a ton of polishes like this, then don't get it. But oh my gosh, it's just stunning. It's stunning, stunning, stunning. I want it. I want it. I want it. Unfortunately, I want them all. Why does life have to be so hard? <laughs> really, like this is hard. But okay, so I'm not going to go into this base coat. It's the same one, Vibrant Scents, the Scooby Snacks. They're both the same. I just always, whenever I get one, I throw them both in. Ooh, this is another one that I'm going to try to get. This is Art as Nails, Pluck, Pluckly. Because that's Pluck, Pluckly, I guess, thirteen fifty. Inspired by Pluckly, allegedly the most haunted village in Britain. It is a green jelly base with gold and green flakes. And there's 250 available. This, whoo, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a beauty. These flakes, this glow, this green. This is just a beautiful polish. Um... Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to try to get that one. No point in looking at any more pictures of him. That's definitely going to be one. I will have a hard time saying no to that one. Um, then next up, I have Alchemy Lacquer's Oddities. It's $12.50, and this is $300 available. It's inspired by the medicinal plant garden of a favorite museum in the heart of Philadelphia, the Mutter Museum. Never heard of that. Oddity is a dusty chartreuse jelly nail lacquer with a contrasting purple to red to orange shifting shimmer. Okay. This just, oh my gosh, where's this picture? This one. Look at this. That is just stunning. And I know I don't have anything like that with that uh, lighter green with that purple shimmer. Oh my gosh, I want this one too because this is just so pretty. And like I said, this is the same nails we looked at earlier, but I don't have anything like that. Nothing. So I definitely want that one. I think that was the end of my wish list. Yes, that's the end of my wish list. So um, let me know what's on everyone else's wish list because I am curious to know what everyone else is picking up for polish pickup for this month of September. Don't forget to come on the wish, wish list. Don't forget to make your wish list and don't forget to come on the site from September 1st to the 4th and get your beautiful polishes. I'm gonna give an honorable mission, mention real fast to this 1422 design secret of Oak Island. I had that on my wish list too. Um, there's a couple I'd like to give an honorable mention real fast to. That one I had on my wish list, but I kind of vetoed my wish list down just a teeny bit before I did my video because um, it just seemed extreme and I didn't want the video to, go, video to go on forever. And the ones that I had on that I went on and took off were this 1422 designs and the Night Out Lacquer that I mentioned earlier. This, um, I'm going to give two honorable mentions right now and I'll tell you why they're not on my, wish, on my wish list though. All mixed up lacquers, the walls, remember, this is super cute. I don't have it on my wish list because it has a ton of reflective glitters in it and, um, I'm not a super fan of reflective glitters anymore in my life right at this moment. Maybe I will again eventually, but right now I am not. Um, 
The other one I want to give an honorable mention to, this damn nail polish, Traumatic Static. It is stunning. It's got a glow to it. It's got a shimmer. It's got some type of glow to it, but it's packed full of reflective glitters, and she does do amazing reflective glitter polishes, um, but... I feel like there was one more I wanted to give an honorable mention to, but those are the two I can remember. If I see it while I'm talking here, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it. But um, those two are just not on my wish list because they have too much reflective glitters in there for me personally. And at this moment, I am not vibing with reflective glitters in my life. I don't know why. I am just... I used to love them, but I just don't like them at this moment. So let me know. That Moonshine Man is just pretty too. Let me know. This nail artisan's pretty too. Um, let me know what's, what's on your all's wish list. Um, see, this is why I don't go back into the site again because there's that night owl lacquer I mentioned because I could get myself adding so many more. But I am going to whittle this down. Um, this this is the... Uh, no, 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 no. That's not it. I was going to say this is it, but that's not it. Um, yo, here's the other one I give it. The Psych Minerals Cuba Road Lore. That one's really pretty too, but it has again, reflective glitter, so it didn't make my list, but again, comment down below <laughs> what's on your wish list, because I'd love to know, but make your wish list, guys, and don't forget to come back on the site September 1st through September 4th, and place your order, because, I don't know, it's just, ex it's an exciting time every month to get your little polish pickups, orders in if you purchase, and that's it for me, guys. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye, everyone.